Hello, everybody. I'm um, Shannon Smith. I'm glad to be here um, and excited to be here. I'm the CEO of Abundant Power, now known as Point Guard. Uh, Point Guard is a, um, we're committed to innovative and impactful technologies for building teams to help them realize higher building performance. But I'm not here to talk about me. I'm hopefully here to talk about something that's important to you and not often discussed. And that's the question of whether or not buildings have a mission. How many of you have mission statements? I know we do at Point Guard. Um, missions are important. It helps you determine where you're going, what you're all about, what's your purpose. I believe buildings do have a mission, and if buildings complete their mission, then they'll have an amazing impact on your businesses and on the people who come to work and to live in them every day. So this conversation we're gonna have today is gonna be about what is a building's mission? What are some of the things that are keeping buildings from completing their mission? And then how certain older technologies maybe are failing on the job and what new technologies, new software like Point Guard can do to help buildings complete their mission. So let's get going. Now, one of the things is always I found curious in, in the conversation about analytics and building, and building software is that so much focus is on energy analytics. But we don't build buildings to save energy, do we? We actually build buildings to provide an amazing workplace experience and to last as long as they can at the lowest possible operating and capital costs. Energy costs just comes along for the ride. So if you, a building completes its mission and does those things, great workplace experience, lowest capital and operating costs, what happens? Profit for the owners, great enjoyment for the occupants and the tenants. So I want to talk a little bit now about what can be done or what stands in the way of buildings completing their mission. There are really six things that come to mind to me, and I want to talk about them. Maybe some of you know, but here listing them out can tell you a little bit what, about why it's so hard for buildings to complete their mission, and then what, um, and why software sometimes doesn't really do the job. One is time. There's a tyranny of the urgent today. We have so much, uh, so little time. We had one building manager say, I have one click in one minute. The next is talent. There's a major talent gap today. It's, it's saying, a re recent study by Ribic says that more, there are more people over the age of 70 in facility management than under the age of 30. The third thing, and this is really builds off of time and talent, is stability. When you have less time and less people, you're moving teams around more, and the knowledge that's embedded in the business, how it performs, I mean the building and how it performs, is being lost. There's a lot of lack of stability today. Comfort is an important aspect of, of, of a building's mission. We found at Point Guard that buildings are, are not within three degrees of set point one out of every five days during occupied hours. It's the one thing you can control in your operating of a building, and it's the one thing you don't. Knowledge, everyone knows in the facility space that knowledge is, is reactionary, is static, is based on the things that the vendors are telling you to do, and it's, it's visual. It's still visual today. So little data is being used deeply in buildings to help them complete their mission. And the last and most important thing that keeps buildings from completing their mission is action. Nothing good happens in a building unless you know exactly where to go to turn a wrench. And so much of energy analytics software and software that's being used today in facility management doesn't have any idea where to tell people to go to improve their buildings. So energy analytics is a long way away from helping buildings complete their mission. Recent energy star score recalibration might even tell you that even more. The average office building lost 12 points of energy star score in August. Energy analytics is just a small part of the data problem or the data opportunity. Deeper building analytics is the real picture that you have today. So what can be done? How do you begin to take technology and help a building complete its mission? Well, we believe at Point Guard that the answer is right in front of you. It can be done by weaponizing what you already have invested in the building, your building management system. There's a wealth of data there that's underutilized. It may be the most important asset you have in this journey. How does that work? You start with your energy bill data. That's a very small part of it. Then you take all your BMS data. The next most important thing is having some form of software solution that can help you process that data, but it has to do the most important thing of all and lead to meaning, meaningful action. If it does that, buildings can complete their mission. 
If you take a look at all the pieces of equipment that's available on your BMS, you can begin to look at it in terms of comfort and asset health and the right kind of software tools. You can take all those pieces of equipment and move them in the highest asset life and the highest possible comfort delivery. So at Point Guard, we think that the next platform has to meet a number of goals, and that's how we, how we designed our facility management platform. It has to maximize time, has to be intuitive, straightforward, easy to use. It has to solve the talent gap. It's got to allow one person to do a lot more work than before and also attract younger talent into the facility space. And if you're outsourcing your facility um, services, they're facing the same challenge. Using a point guard software, one person can manage over 20 million square feet. That's over 20 times the current rubric used by facility management today. It needs to remain with your building. It has to amplify local knowledge. All the people that have come through, all the people that know that building, that information has to be captured in algorithms and machine learning. And it has to stay with that building for the next owner and the next management team. We have to eliminate comfort mistakes. You have to be able to deliver 100% comfort, 100% of occupied hours. If you do that, you'll eliminate over half of your comfort complaints. It's an amazing outcome, and it's just something that building management is not doing today at all. And instead of focusing on energy, we've got to move to something bigger and more important, something in the mainstream of what real estate's all about. It's about your assets. It's about operating expenses. You want to extend your asset life. You want to replace assets when you want to replace them, not when the vendors tell you to replace them. Operating data is the most single most important piece of information missing from building management today. We're the only asset class that doesn't replace buildings excuse me, equipment, based on operating information. We replace it on static nameplate maintenance information. That's not accurate, and billions of dollars are being wasted today. Lastly, it's got to be precise. It's got to stop wasting time, tell people where to go to turn a wrench to improve your buildings and help them uh, fulfill their mission. And that's the, those are the six points at Point Guard that we've designed our platform around to deliver that kind of value to the people that use us. So it's time to go beyond energy analytics, in my opinion. It's time to, for buildings to help complete their mission, to provide maximum occupant comfort, to have the lowest possible capital and operating costs. And then for doing that, help you have maximum amount of profit and have the occupants in them have the most enjoyable workplace experience possible. And I think we can do that at Point Guard. So thank you very much.